is a matter of mass. As you know, everything around us is made up of matter. The amount of matter contained by an object or by a body is called its mass. The SI unit of mass is kilogram. Suppose you have to measure the object which is heavy, then you can use another bigger unit, for example, quintal, metric ton, etc. Suppose you have to measure the object which have lighter weight then you can use a smaller unit for example milligram gram etc one more thing you have to know is the relation between the smaller unit and the bigger unit one quintal is equal to 100 kilogram and one metric ton which is also known as ton t o w n e ton is equal to 1000 kilogram and which is also equal to 10 quintal. I am repeating one metric ton is equal to 1000 kilogram which is also equal to 10 quintal. One kilogram is equal to 1000 gram and one gram is equal to 1000 milligram. These all about the units. <coughs> Suppose we ha you have to measure the um, mass of an object, then you can use different instrument. There are so many instruments available in the market and with the help of that instrument you can measure the mass of any object. The ob instrument which is used to measure the mass of an object is known as balance. Generally there are three types of balance. First is beam balance, electronic balance and physical balance. In beam balance, there are two pans and it is connected with a beam and in the middle of the beam there is a pointer. What you have to do, you have to put the standard mass here and then the mass of the object which is unknown. In this way you can compare the mass of unknown to the known and you will get the measurement of the unknown mass. I am showing you the physical balance. This is the physical balance. These two are pan and this is the pointer. If it is in the middle or vertical position, it means that the mass of both the pan is equal. And this is the horizontal beam and this is the handle of it. The next is electronic balance. Electronic balance is more precise at, as compared to physical, as compared to beam balance. Most of the precious metals are measured with the help of electronic balance. For example, you have to measure the mass of gold, silver, diamond, then in that case you can use electronic balance. How electronic balance look like? This is the electronic balance. Here is the indicator. It indicates the mass of an object. And the last one is the physical balance. Physical balance is more accurate as compared to the hmm, hmm, beam balance. Its principle is same as of beam balance but physical balance is generally used in chemistry labs to measure the mass of the chemical. This is the physical balance. Hmm. One more electronic type portable electronic balance is look like this. This is the indicator. Here it indicates the amount of mass. What you have to do? You have to hang your so object which warm mass you want to measure and then you have to on it first you have to on it and then you have to hang the unknown object mass and then you will get the reading of that uh, unknown mass these are all about the measurement of mass